Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to learn about sampling players' interests. Now, D&D lives from the interaction of the players with the GM. You're only going to get a good game if everybody has a good time. So, how are we going to accomplish that? Well, besides making a good adventure, we need to know what a good adventure is and what my group likes. If your group is really into role playing and you give them fight after fight, they're not gonna like your game so much. So it is important to sample their preferences. Now here comes our question. Where am I going to sample my players? At the beginning, at like a session zero? Or after the adventure? My answer? Either one of them is good as long as you do it. I personally prefer to do it after the adventure, especially if I have a group that I've never played with. I start with them with my campaign, and at the end, I give them my feedback form. So my adventure here was called Sword of Aviarn, and I use uh, Microsoft Forms for that, but any of these uh, free uh, questionnaire programs with Word, Microsoft Forms, Google Forms, you name it. You use whatever you're comfortable with. I use Microsoft. So, my first question is a very generic one. How much did you enjoy the Sword of Ar Arion? And it ranges from awesome, one of the best adventures, to this sucked, thank God it's over. So, this will give you an overall idea on how you're doing. Okay? Make sure the players know that they are being sampled anonymously. You want real feedback. And if you get a lot, man, this sucks, then I'm sorry, the problem is on you. Can't tell it to you in any other words. You need to up your game. So. I always give them this question. Then another very open question. I really enjoyed. Let them write down what they enjoyed. Why? Because you know immediately, okay, they really enjoyed fighting or they really enjoyed doing that. Then you can do more of that and you will improve the overall feeling of the game. Something that should, could be changed is, and there, they're gonna give you their suggestions for improvement. Perfect question, I use it for all my questionnaires after an adventure. Now, the Sword of Everyone was designed for people who have never played D&D. Each segment of the campaign introduces a new element of tabletop role play. In the first I introduced dungeon uh, crawl, then overland travel and traps, then puzzles, then boss monsters, and at the end, open world e exploration. Do you believe these things were achieved? What if anything can be done to improve the adventure? Again, I'm very generic here. I just want to get the feeling of how did they feel about it. I asked them how they feel about the puzzles. Were they too hard? Were they too easy? Puzzles, as I said, found out you can really make or break a game if your puzzle is too hard or you are it's just, you know, doing it wrong. So I, in this case, I put that one in. Of course, anything else you would like to share, give them a chance to have that worst sword. So this was done for a brand new group. I had never played with these guys before. This here will give you the idea of how to direct your plan. I say please put the following activities in orders of personal uh, preference so you can play in the campaign. And this is a drag thing so let's show, look this up on preview. And here they would have to drag it around. This will give you very very good feedback of what kind of a game it is that they are looking for. If all of them are putting dungeon crawl on the top, then you better put more dungeons in your game. Very simple as that. Now, 
I have one more question for uh, Dungeon Masters. I did this in a different, uh, different feed, uh, feedback, and let's do preview here again. One thing that I like to do is send them to a world they always wanted to explore. What is your favorite terrain? Arctic, snow, desert, dungeon, you name it, you do, uh, do it. So a uh, question like this will give the players a chance to say, hey, I always wanted to do an underwater adventure, or I always wanted to do a swamp adventure. And in later videos, we're gonna learn how to create these. But this will give you the overall idea of what you're shooting for, where you're going, and so forth. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I wish you a good day, and I see you in the next video. Take care, guys.